Hey there, I've got a Radio Master TX16S here. And I've got a old high-tech receiver. This was used on the Aurora radios back in the day. And the Radio Master can easily talk to this receiver. Not only can it control the servos, you can talk to the telemetry port and get data out of it and I'll demonstrate voltage coming out of the SPC port. But before we do that, we have to bind this receiver. So we're going to need a some sort of a tool to depress that button that's in this recessed hole here. I'm also going to use a switch harness to help power on and off the receiver more easily while pressing in that button. So on the radio, you've got to get to the Actually, I'll back out. You're going to hit the model button over here. Then you're going to scroll down to the internal RF. And you put the cursor on here. And I'll change it so you can see the various settings. There's all these different receivers in here. And we're going to put that on high tech Optima. Then you're going to pick a receiver number. You have to pick something that's unique. Like, it's like a model match on Spectrum. So pick some unique number. I'm just randomly going to pick 23 for this demo. I'm going to scroll over to the bind button. Now with the receiver off, it has no power to it right now. And I'm going to have my handy little switch here. I'm going to put this on the table, so you're not going to be able to see this, but you'll, you'll understand what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this screwdriver in on the button. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to press the bind button on the transmitter. And now I'm going to power up the receiver. Okay, it's done. When it stops chirping, it's bound. Now I'm going to power down the receiver. I'm going to power it back up. Telemetry recovered. And as you can see, we've got a servo moving on the optimal receiver that's plugged into channel channel two. Lost. So that's how you bind recovered. the receiver on the Optima series. Lost. That error is always going to happen with any radio when you have the receiver Telemetry too recovered. close to the radio. So I'm going to move the receiver away from the radio for the moment. Now the neat Telemetry part lost. about this receiver is it has built-in voltage telemetry using this SPC port. And by removing this jumper, we can get voltage telemetry. And I'm going to show that next. Now, what's unique about SPC with high tech that can confuse beginners with these receivers is this provides power to the radio part of the receiver. You're still going to feed it power for the servos coming typically from an ESC, which is what I've got here. This is a, an ESC here telemetry with, with, a BEC, telemetry lost. with a BEC on it. But the actual radio portion of this receiver is going to be powered independently from the SPC port. So once I pull the jumper, it loses power. Telemetry lost. Now I've got a power supply for this test. And here's my SPC jumper. It's just a standard servo connector. It's keyed. We're going to plug it into the SPC port. Telemetry recovered. And now we've got our power back. Now my power for this test is coming from an old school power supply that's set to almost 10 volts. Okay. Now once you have the receiver bound, you're going to go over to the telemetry menu by using the uh, page functions, page buttons over here. So let's go back over here, and this is the telemetry, and what I'm going to do is we're going to start clean, 
Then I come down here and I'm going to delete all the sensors. Press enter. And now to delete it. So there's no sensors set up right now. Now you go to the discover function and you discover every sensor. I recommend waiting about 10 seconds to make sure that you've discovered everything that could be on that telemetry bus. But in this case, I've only got the RX battery, so we'll stop the discovery. And as you can see already, we've got the telemetry data for the voltage coming from the power supply. I said it was about 10 volts, and you can see it. It's flicking between 9.9 .9 something and 10. So I will increase the voltage on the power supply. We'll go to like 15 volts. And as you can see here on the radio, it's now reporting 15 volts. So once you have this established, the variable that you're going to be using is RxBT. And as long as you've got some experience with OpenTX, you can set up logical switches. And then you can announce your voltage. Maybe you want to set up an alarm and say when the battery gets to 9 volts, send out an alarm. You might want to announce the, the 15 volts every 30 seconds while you're flying. You can do all that with logical switches and special functions. So you can easily use these old receivers on your Radio Master.